Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. <laughs> Now I've got something a little different to show you guys today. This is the Jada Transformers Metal Figs diorama scene. Now Jada is the same company that brought you the Hollywood Ride series. So you had vehicles like the Back to the Future Time Machine. They also did the Transformers Optimus Prime in the non-transforming truck mode. And they got these little small die cast figures of Transformers and I saw G.I. Joe and I've got a Back to the Future set as well. Just little tiny die cast vehicles. Here we got Starscream, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. So these guys are well known for their vehicles but I have never seen figures before. So I saw this set today and had to pick it up. Now first off this thing's heavy. It's got some weight to it. So I know you know, these are die cast metal, so they're going to be some solid figures. My ring light is really shining back into the camera. As you can see, we got Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Megatron, and Starscream. It looks like the diorama is like a cityscape, and it looks like in the back of the package, I can see Metroplex's face. I think that is the 1986 box art. So anyway, here we got Jada, Diecast, Transformers, Diorama scene with G1 Optimus Prime artwork. Back of the box, it shows the figures as well. Bumblebee, Prime, Megatron, and Starscream. So now let's get these guys opened up out of the box and check them out. So here's the Diorama scene out of the package. You've got a lot of plastic still, some cardboard buildings and cardboard rocks way too much plastic to really display this good and I was right that is the 1986 box art there in the background so let's finish getting these guys opened up out of the package I was just curious to see what this looked like as a diorama and I really don't like that way too much plastic and here we have the set completely out of the packaging and just to give you a quick idea of the scale of these guys here they are with a battle master so they're not huge, but they're not as small as those Dollar Tree Transformers we got last year. Now let's take a quick look at the figures individually, starting with Bumblebee. Nice die cast. I mean, this is a decent, heavy figure. I like it, and Bumblebee seems to be, well, take that back. The arms, the arms are plastic. Now the feet are die cast, the chest is die cast, and feels like the head... I think that's die cast as well. So still not bad. Great sculpting. Very G1. Nice paint job. Should be some paint there on the wheels. There's no posability at all with these guys. I mean, they're in this action pose and that's it. Now he has the paint application on the back with the spare tire. So there is Bumblebee. Taking a look at Starscream. Starscream's base. That's plastic. The legs, that's die cast. Upper legs, die cast. Null rays, oh, you can tell that's plastic. Wings, die cast. Arms, plastic. Chest and head, die cast. Once again, great 
paint job. Even has the upside down Decepticon logos that was famous in the cartoon on the front and the back. Cool. Not a big fan of him posed on the rock, or I guess you could make that like smoke where he's taken off. But I wish, I wish he didn't have it. I hate when they have figures molded into rocks. Now let's take a look at Prime. Prime looks really good. Opening fire. There he is right in your face. Great paint job all the way around. Nice details too. You can make out the details there in the smokestacks. Let's see. On Prime, the legs, they're all die cast. Bodies die cast. Arms die cast. The head, the head's plastic. And the gun is plastic. So Prime has a lot more die cast than the other figures. I love the way he looks. That is a great collar on him. Not a big fan of the squat pose, but it is what it is. And finally, let's take a look at Megatron. Now, Megatron is the heaviest of all four. I mean, this guy, he's really solid, and he he seems to be pieced together. He's got a little wiggle right there. Now, Megatron, let's see, lower legs, all, okay, the entire leg section, both legs are die cast, waist is die cast, chest die cast, heads plastic, arms are die cast, fusion cannon plastic. Great detail on Megatron, even has a pretty good face sculpt for something this small. Got the details right there on the midsection. I wish they painted that because that's supposed to be red. Big Decepticon symbol right there. He does have a scuff right there. He's got a paint scuff. You can see the red. All in all, really cool. He's missing his cannon on his back, though. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. Now, I wish the diorama that they came with was a little bit more in your face, maybe more brightly colored with not so much plastic. But I guess you can still take it and pose these guys inside. But they're really kind of cramped in there. So, I mean, there's an option for you. But like I said, I wish that background was just a little bit more bright. But I still think that might work. Just got to peel off all that extra tape right there. So there you go, guys. The Jada Metal Figs Transformers Diorama Scene. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!